And with that, we had successful Miko stage separation. You can uh, see the Merlin vacuum is ignited and even saw the uh, fairing half there in the shot. We're looking at a live view right now on the left-hand side of your screen is Falcon 9's first stage. We've deployed the grid fins in preparation for re-entry. On the right-hand side of your screen is Falcon 9's second stage. That's a shot of the Merlin vacuum engine. Now those two fairing halves, we will be attempting to recover them once they come back to planet Earth and use them again on a future mission. First stage has deployed its grid fins. You can see two of them on your screen. Those uh, periodic bursts of white gas you're seeing are from our attitude control system. We're reorienting the first stage to get the engines pointed down for its next major milestone, which will be the entry burn. Both stages are following a nominal trajectory. That call out, that means that both of the stages, the first and second stages, are on the intended flight paths. The first stage at this point is on a, a parabola headed back towards our drone ship, which again is stationed off the coast of Baja, California. The second stage, which is uh, about a couple minutes into its burn, at this burn lasting until about T plus eight minutes and 40 seconds. It's carrying our Starlink satellites to orbit. The Starlink mission marks 204th mission for SpaceX overall and our fifth mission for this year. As a reminder, Starlink is a satellite internet constellation designed and manufactured by SpaceX to provide high-speed and low-latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations around the globe. Both stages are still on a nominal trajectory. You might have noticed that the first stage's altitude is decreasing. That makes sense because it's heading back towards our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. The first stage's next major milestone is coming up in about 20 seconds. That'll be the entry burn where it'll light three of its Merlin 1D engines to slow down for atmospheric reentry. Stage one, entry burn startup. There is successful ignition of those three Merlin engines, this burn lasting about 20 seconds. Stage one, entry burn shutdown. Successful shutdown of those Merlin engines. major event on the first stage. Stage the, one FTS is saved. The landing burn start just after T plus eight minutes. Stage one transonic. 
with that, that means the first stage is traveling near the speed of sound. We've got a few events coming up back to back here. First will be the landing burn on the first stage. That burn will continue until the first stage lands. During the landing burn, we'll also hear a call out for second engine cutoff number one, or SECO one, on the second stage. Drum roll guidance. Stage one landing burn. Started a single Merlin engine on the first stage. We'll expect to see the landing legs deploy shortly. Stage two FTS is saved. Stage one landing leg deploy. Heard a call out there for MVAC shutdown. Now, this landing marks our 166th overall landing of an orbital class rocket that includes both Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy Nominal missions. Orbit insertion. With that call out from the guidance team, the second stage is in the nominal or intended orbit. The second stage is carrying our 51 Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit.